Hey there, I'm Daisy Whitney reporting for BTV at NAB, the National Association of Broadcasters Conference, where I just had the chance to talk to Tom Layton, who is the founder of Akamai. He talked about his vision for internet video and where it's headed over the next few years. Tom, thank you so much for joining us. As the founder of the company, what sort of trends are you seeing today in terms of how we consumers are watching video on the internet and what might that mean for the future? Video's on the cusp of an explosion over the internet. Uh, today, a relatively small amount of the video is done over IP or on the internet, and that's likely to change over the next several years. A lot of factors have changed to enable high quality viewer experience better than you can get with TV, better than you can get with the DVR now online. Uh, a lot of folks have high bandwidth connectivity into the home now. They have a device in the home that can actually play an HD video and be connected to the internet so it can be online. Uh, Akamai has developed technology, DVR functionality that lives in software on the client machines that allow you to have multiple camera angles for a sporting event, real-time switching of the video feed you're watching without having that buffering where you have to wait 10 seconds to switch a channel. So it's instant access. You know, if you watch the Masters online this week, you could see the uh, scroll bar where you could mouse over and see all the key holes. And it would say, okay, here's where Tiger birdied on a particular hole. Or here's where somebody eagled. You can click on that and bang, you're watching it right away, real time experience, and then go back and see it online. And this is going to change, I think, the way we consume video for entertainment in the home. And it will be over IP in the future. And I guess the question is can the internet handle it? Is the technical infrastructure there? There are so many forecasts about all of the things that we will be doing with video. Are we, can the internet do this all? Yeah, well, it depends on what part of the internet you're looking at. The last mile, yes. The last mile is there today to support high bandwidth communications. So you can get an HD picture and you can get the interactivity. The middle mile, or actually the bulk of the internet, the distance between a data center where a server is serving up this image and the last mile where you have your cable modem into the home, that really is hundreds or thousands of miles where all the ISPs live, and that's a problem. And that will not scale to deliver any kind of high quality video at any kind of volume today. Now that's where a company like Akamai comes in because we deliver the videos from the last mile itself. We have our servers in 750 cities, in thousands of locations, physically in a thousand different networks. And that enables us to take advantage of the last mile bandwidth and to deliver the video over the last mile where the capacity exists. If you try to deliver that video at scale to a lot of end users from a data center in the middle of the internet, it cannot work. And that's why a lot of pundits have said the internet will not scale for high quality video over IP because that infrastructure doesn't work. But you believe it will scale? I believe it will scale with the edge technology that Akamai has put in place. By having the servers be at the edges of the internet, near the end user, where you have the bandwidth, then it works. If you try to do it from an origin data center, you simply can't get the capacity through the internet to reach all the end users. It's, it's using up far too much of the capacity from a centralized location. So what are we going to be doing differently five years from now? How are consumers going to be watching video across the internet and in other places? Well, they'll be watching it from a variety of devices, and we're just at the beginning. You see the iPhone and now the iPad, and uh, I can tell you, talking to the publishing community, they believe the iPad is going to change the way education works in America, just as an example. That you won't have a backpack of books anymore, you'll have the iPad, just as, as one example. Video in the home, you know, the TV is not going away. The TV is staying, but a lot more of what you do at home on video and movies and stuff, and certainly the sporting events, will be over the internet. So it won't necessarily be coming over a satellite or a cable modem uh, in the normal way we do it today. Uh, so I think there'll be a lot of changes, and there'll be interactivity in the events that you're watching. You can already see that, where you can talk to your friends about the event as it's happening online. The whole experience is going to evolve. Final question for you. Obviously, we're here at the NAB show. Outside of what you're doing at Akamai, anything interesting you've seen on the show floor? Oh, there's all sorts of cool stuff. You know, I talked to a company yesterday has a cool idea about you know, fingerprinting video. So that wherever the video goes, even if it goes on the TV and somebody films and puts back on the internet, you can still read the fingerprint. And so you can track where your content really went. There's all sorts of cool ideas here. It's, it's very exciting. Thank you so much for joining us, Tom. Okay, thank you.